Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever in the world you might be watching. An important feature in Excel are the statistical functions, sum, average, count, max and min. In fact, they are the most widely used functions in all of Excel. It helps us when we're using Excel to understand the theory and the practical use of these functions. And that is what I'd like to cover in this particular upload. First of all, we're going to look at the auto sum function. Here I have the formulas tab selected and I see at the left the auto sum button, to the right of which I see a small drop arrow which when clicked gives me each of the main statistical functions. Now what I'm going to do is to add up the numbers in these four columns. Most people do it this way. They'll click there and then they'll click either the auto sum button or the drop arrow and sum. And the theory of what Excel does is simply this. It looks up the column first and it says, are there two or more numbers that I can add together? If there are, it surrounds its guess with a scrolling marquee. Some people call them marching ants. All we then need to do, or what most people do, is to hold down the shift key and press enter. That keeps me in the same cell. And then they'll click in that cell and with the mouse pointing at the autofill button, they'll hold down the left mouse button and drag across. And there Excel copies the formulas. So there are my answers. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm going to delete those particular uh, contents of those cells. And this time, I'm going to make sure that these four cells are selected. And now I'm going to click the drop arrow and say sum. And what Excel does, it immediately puts the answers into the cells. And we can prove that it's done that by looking here in the formula bar. It's adding up C4 to C14. In this cell, it's adding up D4 to D14, E4, and F4 to F14. So nice and easy. Now what I'm going to do is to delete the contents of the cells again. And I want to show you a third way of adding numbers. We're going to select the contents of those cells. We're going to select the data in those cells. And now what we're going to do again is to click the sum feature and again Excel has added the numbers for me and it's put the answers in the cells directly below the data. If you wish you can drag those cells down down to where you want them like that so it matches up of course with the label here. Now Let's say that I wanted the total of cells here. When I click on the auto sum button, Excel does this. It looks up the column and it says that ah, there are not two or more numbers above. So the second thing it does, it looks to the left and it says, are they the numbers that you wish to add? So that's the theory of the looking up the column and looking through columns to the left. Now we'll escape out of that. We'll remove our, our label. And now we're going to look at average. And it works in exactly the same way as the sum feature. In other words, if I click in cell H4 where I want the answer to the average, it looks up the column and it says, ah, there are not two or more numbers I can average, so I will look to the left. And that is exactly what it does. Now what we can do is to shift and enter, and now I can simply drag that particular answer down, and there are all of my averages. So there are three very handy ways to use uh, the statistical functions. Uh, again, if I wanted to count the numbers, what I would do would be to click on the auto sum uh, drop arrow, count numbers, and what it does, 
it looks to the left because there are not numbers above but it is guessed incorrectly therefore I need to override its guess by dragging through the cells that I do want it to look at and shift and enter it says there are four numbers involved and that is correct and if I auto fill that down and what I can do here if you wish you don't have to drag it down because if there are numbers in the or data in the column immediately to the left all I need to do is double click on the auto sum auto fill button and there Excel gives me the answers there are four numbers in each of those each of those columns Hopefully you found this handy, they're little shortcuts, uh, but importantly, it is understanding how Excel thinks. Uh, remember, it looks up the column first. It says, are there two or more numbers that I can add? Uh, if so, it surrounds its guess with the scrolling marquee. Uh, similarly with the average and the count. Um, you can also, uh, if you wish, just select the data as you saw. Click the auto sub button and Excel will put its answer below. In other words, uh, if you're looking at looking up the column, you don't need to worry about uh, dragging with the auto fill button. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.